Uh, we starting the interview now. You starting the interview right now? Yeah, yeah that's what I was calling. Is it live or is it pre-recorded? No, no. It's going to be pre-recorded. Uh, I'm going to be there. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be there in about an hour. Uh, I'm on track because right now, so whatever I pull up, I'm going to pull up. All right, buddy. All right, bro. Uh, yeah. Ready? Yeah, it's recording. So this is the Mars Files, powered by Miami Soundwave Radio, and today we have XXX10 Session. Oh, it's recording? Yeah, it's recording now. Okay. Um... I mean, basically, we just start them all off. Like, like you, you already did that no jumper that kind of like covered everything. So I'm gonna just like lightly cover everything. Okay. Um, kind of like tell me like where you grew up. Um, and stuff like that. I grew up in the Broward area. Uh, basically, like, I was born. I, I mean, I was born in the Plantation Hospital, but I was born like raised near like the Pompano slash North Lauderdale area. Uh, growing up afterwards, I mean, I was like like when I was really, really, really young. And then afterwards, I stayed with my mom for quite a while. I said, well, actually, I stayed for, with her for like four uh, four years. I thought I stayed with her for like four years. I got to start getting into a lot of trouble. Um, afterwards, I mean, I, I went to a program, got kicked out of the program, ended up staying with my grandmother. So I started staying in Lauderhill, which they considered four-way or deep side. Um, after a, a, a while of staying, staying there, I just, kind of conformed into getting into a mass amount of trouble and letting myself go. So after I reached that uh, that point in life, I mean, I, I kind of went from there. So I guess you could say from the Pompano North Lauderdale to the Lauderdale area. Yeah. And then um, I guess kind of like what like when you were in school and shit, like what kind of kid were you? Uh, indecisive. Indecisive. Indecisive and... and not at all uh, the norm. I felt like I definitely felt as if my thoughts were beyond the the normal human thought or uh, human thought process. Because when I was in school, my thoughts were always on a thousand. So that was the reason why I couldn't focus. Uh, that was the reason why I yeah, felt yeah, as if school was, was like my racing. mind was always racing. So I felt like my mind was somewhere completely else in school. And I I don't tell anybody this day in school because I feel like school is definitely meant for some people. But I couldn't, I couldn't handle it, and it's, it's unfortunate to say because I definitely would have liked to graduate to make my, my family proud, but uh, it's not something I fell through with. What do you, what do you think it was that, that school? Was it like the people? Did you like... Did, were, it was me. It Everything was is me. It's, my, it's like my own madness that pretty much yeah. like, eats me. And where, where do you think that, that kind of thing comes from? Depression. Depression? Depression and, and uh, insecurities. Why why do you feel like you're you're maybe depressed or insecure? Because I'm not shit. The more you live life, the more you realize that you are just like a like speck, a, a, a pebble. Yeah. A pebble out of a thousand. Yeah, like a like a, a pebble out of a, a a mountain of boulders. Yeah. I mean, I mean, you don't feel like you like, like, cause I mean, bro, like you're you're pretty successful, like to an extent. You know what I mean? Like you're not you're not successful. Uh, successful to to someone that is that is trying to reach that point but yeah. to someone that is established no not at all yeah I, I, I feel that but like do you, do you do you as you get more successful does does like the burden of like your your madness does it like it gets worse it gets worse yeah why do you think that is because it's just more of a thought process it's like the more you get into this the more you meet people that don't really give a fuck about you the more you you just realize like I guess like, it, it sucks to 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 comfort all my fans, and then when they try and be there for me, it's like I, I can't accept it. I don't know. It's a, it's a very uh, you have over a thousand to a, to a million people contacting you or saying anything or trying to uh, to to comfort you or any. It's it's like like maybe like the more the it's like blow, it's like trying to kiss it's like trying to kiss the wind. It's yeah. Not work. I feel you. Do you think? Do you think like the more so like you're saying the more success, the worse it's getting. Do you think that's because maybe like it feels like it kind of almost feels like empty? Like you just said, like kissing the wind. Like yeah, it, I've always always been empty though. I think I'll always be empty. It's a big problem. It's like a like a void, like a void nobody can fill. Where do you think that comes from, or do you even know? Depression and self hate, abandonment. That's wild. I don't. I don't even know what to say. Um, 
How did the, I guess, to switch it up real quick, uh, how'd you get into music? I didn't know what else I wanted to do, and music, I felt, was the only way I could express myself or express my depressed thoughts or any thought or any sort of excitement that I couldn't display as far as uh, doing anything in life. Cause I mean, when you get when you get very emotional and you like you feel a certain amount of depression or a certain amount of happiness, it's, what what else is there really to do yeah. besides like do extra like extracurricular shit like like, like music, like, sports, like, like stuff like, like that. sports and shit like that. But I wasn't I wasn't that type. I just. Like I said, my, my mind in itself like eats itself. It's it's a it's a very humiliating process. Do you feel like music's like therapeutic for you? Uh, music is me giving insight as to what I am. It's not therapeutic. It's not therapeutic at all. At all. No, it's it's very depressing to read over or listen to what I what I'm putting out. Do you do you listen to your music? Uh, I do. I listen to it very consistently. And then I guess you're like you're. So like there, so you don't have it. There's no like therapeutic value in it, even like Not when you're, I, I even do when it, you're like recording. Like I, it, no, I do it purely to make people relate and show people that. I mean, pretty much, it's, you're not alone. Yeah, you're not alone. That's that's the concept of the alone in itself. Yeah, I mean, yeah. That's like a big family. Yeah, I was watching your I was watching your No Jumper, and you said that was kind of like your ideology is like yeah. alone. Yeah, I think I wouldn't thank Geneva for that because Geneva definitely was the one that had sh- showed me that and made me feel that way. Yeah. Definitely taught me that concept. Um, so I mean, I guess I guess I kinda wanna ask you like <clears throat> with the whole with the whole jail thing, like you went to jail, you just recently got out, like what was that experience like going back or Uh, it was horrible. It was horrible, it's depressing, you wake up every day, there's nothing to look forward to. It's it's like the gateway to suicide. <laughs> it's like being a step away from one and die every single fucking day you wake up and you see the same people the same negativity and it's just the same thing and that's the problem hold on I gotta call yeah, that's cool. hey Bruno I gotta call you back in like two, I gotta call you back in like two seconds I'm gonna interview alright love you yo yeah what's going on All right, well, I'm in the middle of the interview, so just like, just try and get here as soon as you can. All right, fam. Sorry about that. No, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool. So, so, <clears throat> did did anybody know who you were in jail or no? Uh, yeah, it, not, too that, ma- not too many. Was that about, different from like the last time you went? Was that different? Uh, last time as far as when I was a kid, I mean, people knew me on like Facebook and shit. I was always yeah. like, I was always into that whole social media wave because I just saw how much it did for people. Like I yeah. saw people get successful off of like mine. Yeah, yeah. So I always thought I always thought it was like the gateway to a lot of shit. Mm-hmm. I mean, social media is definitely what you make it. It's, it's networking all together. So no, yeah, for sure. I mean, all so the money I've made was in the last exactly, two years. Exactly. Yeah, I've done all Twitter. off of social media. Yeah. I haven't made a single dollar off of anything but social media. Yeah, yeah, no, for sure. So, so there was people in jail that were like fans of your music type shit. Um, I've only I only met like five like five people like. I went in and I saw my um, I, he's like my brother Corey. Uh, I knew him since elementary school. He was already in there. He already knew what I was doing with my life. I saw someone that I actually had beef with, but like we had squash shit, so we was cool. He knew about my music. He knew what I was doing. Um, I saw a fan yes in there. I saw a fan when I was in Orlando, and then like one more person. So that whole I saw thing, that whole thing, you got you originally got arrested in Orlando. Correct. And then. After that, you got... They transported me to... to uh, how I went is, I went to the county jail in Orlando, got transferred to the Orange County uh, Juvenile, went from the Orange County Juvenile to the Broward County Juvenile, went from the Broward County Juvenile to the main jail, to the main jail, to the Conti, from the Conti jail, from Joseph Conti to the main jail again, and then was released on home electric monitor. And then what's the what's the whole what's the whole situation with that? Because I see like you got shows and stuff coming up. Like uh, I'll still be able to do shows in Florida. I just gotta work something out with me and my lawyer and the judge and the income on the woman to uh, to kind of work some shit out. But yeah, I, I I actually got a show coming up in Miami um in October and I got a I got another one coming in in Tampa. I'm trying to make sure I verify that I'm gonna be able to do it. But yeah. as of right now, I'm pretty sure I'll be able to do it. That's dope. That's dope. So, but you you're not really allowed to travel outside. Uh, not outside of state, no. Do you know for how long, or it's still kind of up in the air? Um, pretty much until the case is closed. I got high hopes for the case. Yeah, the, um, I mean, you don't really want to talk about it. Not at it's all. Still open. Yeah, not at all. Um, 
Do, do, does it feel different, like from like maybe like maybe like a year and a half ago till now? Does it? Does no, it feel I still different? don't feel like shit. You still don't feel like shit. No, I still don't feel like shit, and I don't get to experience it because I'm not a very outside social person. I don't. I'm not the type of person to to spend hours at the beach. I don't really go to the mall. I don't. I don't. I don't browse, man. I don't. I don't go around the city just looking for something to do. I just sit home and think yeah. and manifest pretty much. That's all That's all you gonna realize life is doing. Cause the more you're out at these, at these parties, you're just spending all your energy and you're gonna realize you are, as a being, our energy. So the more you give foolishness or, or any sort of distraction, your energy, you can't manifest on anything that you want. So anything with anything, like as far as a music career, as far as if you're a football player or a boxer, you gotta manifest all that energy you have into one thing and that's how you become successful. Some people give them the distractions as far as Twitter or as far as, uh, I mean, as far as, like just uh, going as distractions out. as far as yeah. females or, or, or drugs in themselves. It's just all draining the energy pretty much. 100%. Do you do, you, do, you, do, you, do, you do any drugs? Are you even allowed to right now? Like, uh, or is you on papers? Even like, if I did do that drugs, work? I'm pretty sure like the, the police, if they're going to investigate me, they would check this. So no, I do not do drugs. Yeah, yeah, I feel you. I feel you. I feel you. My mind is a drug. I mean, how does it feel though to be free? Like, do you does it feel the same as being in in the jail? Or I mean, it's got to feel a little different, no? Um, I don't feel free. You don't feel free? No. Damn, that's rough. That's rough. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, I guess what are your what are your like moving forward? Like going going forward, what what's your plan? Getting, what's, uh, for an announcement to my fans and a, 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 a brief apology to everyone that has expected me to stay underground or is expecting me to forever remain um, what I am or to, to take the, the slower route. Uh, I've taken the slower route for quite some time. I've seen where it's going to go. Uh, it's a very relationship-oriented thing that I, I can be in as far as the underground because I get to constantly watch my, my social media or pay attention to my fans. And I will always pay attention to my fans, but as of now, I wish to expand so I can become more controversial than I am now. Because as far as the, the content I've released, I have some pretty, uh, I have some pretty outspoken shit on there. I have some pretty like, some pretty crazy shit on there. Definitely. Like when when it's discovered just based off of radio play or anything like that, it'll definitely I'll definitely be very 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 controversial as far as. I mean, just the industry period, yeah. the world period. I feel like I'm gonna have a say in a lot of things if I keep going at the direction I'm going. Yeah. But um, I mean, I'm gonna I'm expected to drop at least two to three music videos on um, World Star, uh, with my buddy JMP Photography and a friend Nashaker, uh, and I'm expected to drop a song. I won't say which song, but I'm gonna drop you dropping a song on uh, the radio. I'm not sure as to what radio station yet, but we are coming are the, to a conversation. Are those videos already shot or are they <clears throat> no, they're still not. in the works? They're gonna be in the works, yeah. Okay, okay. Um what uh, what like what motivates you? Like what 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 makes you wanna depression do the music? Depression motivates you? Yeah, because I, I'm tired of seeing people like fall to the shit pretty much. It's like bro, you when you go through this shit you just it's like you Dog, it's like being alive but not being alive, dog. It's like looking, it's like really being, it's like being in jail, bro. It's like being in a mental prison. Yeah. And like, that's not something that anybody should feel like they're alone in. Cause I want people to pretty much know that like, that feeling is not, ju it's, it's, it's not, not just, just you, you that feels that way. Cause it's like, that shit really leads on to something. You feel me? Like I'm, 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 I'm pussy the, about the fact that I'm still alive. You feel me? There's some real, there's some real kids, like kids younger than me that real deal like, are tired of this shit, bro. And yeah. I, I mean, that's just due to past lives and due to, to how many times they've gone through the same shit over and over again because they haven't learned their history. But I just mean as far as like, with anything, man, it's, it's, it's I just, I'm just distraught at, at seeing people succumb to themselves. It's, it's, it's a sad thing to see people succumb to themselves beyond anything. And I'm not talking about, about crime. I'm not talking about murder, rape. I'm talking about like a real deal, like, you hate yourself and you're the reason why you're gonna die. Yeah. That's not a good feeling. I mean do you do you do you feel that way? You feel that way? Uh I don't know. Do I feel you. Um I guess like do you do you feel like you'll ever be happy? Like do you feel like no, you'll ever find I don't, happiness? I don't believe in happiness, I believe in joy. 
In what? I believe in joy. I don't believe in happiness. So do you ever feel like, so is there moments where you have joy? Yeah, there's joy? definitely moments of joy. I definitely will always find moments of joy. But happiness is... How do you, how do you feel about that word, happiness, the feeling? How happiness, feel I feel like that? it's fake. I feel like it's a very fake word. I feel like happiness is something that they, they truthfully say, like... It's permanent. They try and say happiness is permanent. Like, yeah. like the way they speak on happiness, they say you find like it's like saying you find it permanently. But yeah, yeah. It really I is no happiness. And I they say that. happiness lies within because when you're okay with yourself yeah. and you can find peace within yourself, then it makes everything so much easier. But even then, you don't find happiness. You find contemplation, contradiction. You find pretty much just just your thought process starts to race. No matter how you dwell into the shit, it's, it all always comes down to a thought process. Yeah. Even not thinking is a thought process yeah. because you have to get down to that level of thinking. But you don't also feel like maybe maybe it's like up to perception, like maybe like you, like you could perceive like, like maybe, maybe it's all like up for interpretation. Maybe like as far as the way I I interpret things. Yeah, like maybe, I'm a certain breed of man. Maybe if you interpret it a different way, maybe yeah, you'd definitely feel a I'm a way. certain breed of man. That's why I said depression doesn't necessarily find everyone. Yeah, everyone has a depressed moment, but I'm a certain breed of man. So it's only really my vision is only for those who can relate. I don't really speak for those who are happy. I really don't speak for those who are are you know have constant joyous moments. I'm speaking for those who are still in my situation. Yeah, 100%. so that's why I can only speak to those who are in my situation because a man of happiness would never even find joy in my music or find joy in my words. Yeah. But just I mean, look at me like a fool. But I would also, also just to play devil's advocate, I would say that like, it's kind of like maybe somebody who's really happy is like, finds your music and it's like, like the same thing as like a kid lives in the suburbs listening to Chief Keef, you know, yeah. it's like, it's Sometimes like they a, discover my shit and yeah. it, it, just, it just all depends on what they find first. Yeah, not like, for a sure. Lot of, some people find my depressing shit first and they fall in love yeah. because they see what I am from the very joint. What's, 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 the favorite, what's your favorite song you've ever done? I spoke to the devil one? in Miami. He said everything would be fine. That's your favorite one? Yeah. Yeah, that shit's dope. That shit's super <laughs> you dope. heard it? You fuck with it? Yeah, I fuck with that. I fuck with King. I fuck with Snow. <laughs> I fuck with those. Yeah, yeah I like I like all my emotional shit. I don't like my I don't like my, my I mean, shit. Uh, look at me though is like the jam. I'm tired to look at me. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure you are. It's gonna get so much bigger too. So yeah, I'm really yeah. gonna be tired of it. Yeah, I'm tired yeah. of it. I feel like I feel like that's a thing though. I feel like I feel like artists like their biggest yeah, their songs, biggest songs they they fucking hate. hate. Always. Sorry, I got I got answers. Nah, no, do your thing, bro. Hello. Yo, okay, I'm gonna call you back in like two seconds. I'm going through an interview right now. You straight though? All right, fam, I'm about to call you in to check on you. I have been wanting to check on you. All right, fam, I'm gonna call you. Okay. Thanks, sir. Um. Yeah, we good. You want another beer? Oh no, no, I got it. Um. What uh? What what kind of things inspire you? Like. Like, what inspires your music? I mean, uh, I know it's, these are, like, basic questions. Anything that like stimulates the mind, man. Anything that puts a mind in a higher level of thinking or a lower one. It's, it's really, 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 really cool. It's like, like, are right, you go listen to me and you go listen to Chief Keef. I have a, like, I, my, like, intellectually, like, I speak a lot of crazy shit, but Chief Keef's create, creativity with as far as, like, as, as far as how slow he puts it, it's like you realize that, the mind, like, bro, it's, it's it's hard to say, bro. Like, anything that stimulates the mind, anything that can affect the mind in a certain way. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Anything that makes you 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 perceive different. Do you do you watch TV at all? Like, what what kind of stuff do you watch when you watch um, TV? I don't watch. Do? I, don't, I don't actually watch TV. I watch like, I watch like Netflix. I watch yeah. like Netflix, and I watch like. Uh, what like do you different. watch on Netflix? Like, you watch documentaries. Pretty much like animes and shit. Animes and um, like American Horror Story and like. Like when I'm not watching fucking Netflix, <laughs> Sunny's over there laughing. When I'm not watching fucking Netflix, I'm pretty much like on Crunchyroll. I fuck with Crunchyroll. I fuck with Kiss Anime. Like when I'm not watching um that, I'm watching like like different animes as far as One Piece, Blue Exorcist, um Hunter X Hunter. I was obviously like the old Naruto Shippuden, but I finished uh, the manga, so like I'm far more ahead than a lot of people. Yeah. Um. I mean, just any, like, just a lot of enemies. Have you ever seen One Punch Man? I One Punch Man, I, I saw it briefly. Everybody told me to get into it, but the the characters, like, I I can't fuck with a comical character, and he's far yeah. too comical, and, he, like, I don't feel like he's a character you can get into. Yeah. So, I like, I have to fuck with, like, I have to say I have, like, it, like, no homo, but I have to have some sort of attraction to the main character. Like, yeah. I can't, 
I can't not like want to like fuck with them. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, it's gotta be like a connection. Like yeah, yeah I, I can't find a connection and just. Underlying it's just I just feel like the, the the whole concept of One Punch Man is just the action. And, yeah. And so I just feel like the action is really what. Yeah, really honestly, cool. I don't really watch anime like that, but I've seen a couple episodes of One Punch Man, and I'm just like, this is fucking crazy. Yeah, yeah, it's it's hard, but it's just not. It's just not. No, I like yeah. I like an emotional story behind all my shit. Um, kind of going back a little, like, how was your experience at Rolling Loud? Cause like I saw. Uh, <laughs> Man, Rolling Loud was sick, man. Yeah. Uh, yo, I want to I wanna give a big shout-out to fucking um, Dopey and T. Uh, Dopey and T is awesome, man. Dopey and T has tutored me through a lot of shit. Um, I've definitely, I've definitely watched them. If there's anybody I watched, and I used to, like, yo, I used to hate on Dopey and T. Like, I think everybody did at some point, yeah, but you man. can't, like, deny the no, fact. No, no, but Tarek, them. Tarek, man, Tarek is a great guy, man. Tarek, well, yeah, I mean, you can't deny the fact, like, how much they've how much they, done they for, like, man. The they, they've for done a lot here, like, for the music If it industry. wasn't for Dopey and T, a lot of the A lot of shit would not have come to Miami or not come to a lot of states. Oh, definitely. Dopey and T, Dopey and T is, is the foundation for a lot of shit right now. 100%. But Tarek, man, Tarek is, Tarek is something else man Tark is a hard fucking worker man regardless of what anybody says about Dopey and T man I, I fucking love Tark bro Tark is Tark, even with such bro Tark put money on my fucking lawyer bro when I was when I was in jail bro Tark is a very genuine guy fuck no, what anybody says saying. about Tark man Tark altogether is a, is a very nice guy I never got the uh, the the uh, the opportunity or or <clears throat> yeah, the opportunity to meet uh, Matt um, but I'm sure I'm sure he's a he's a delightful guy. But yeah, I never got to meet him. But Targ man has left a very 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 good impression on me. He's a he's a phenomenal guy. Yeah, no, I mean honestly, we like we needed you back. Like like we needed <laughs> you back. Like, now nah, for real, you've done a lot. Like I don't know if you realize it, but like you've done a lot to make the South Florida culture like a lot bigger. You know what I'm saying? I think I think like I you bring people out to shows. Like yeah. that's like the most important thing because like. If your name's not on the list, the show's not going to be packed. Yeah, I think... Uh, I mean, I haven't seen what my name can do as of late, so I, I'm going to be quite surprised when I, mean, I do it's going to be fucking 100 times more. You yeah, know what I'm yeah, I mean... It's it, already fucking incredible. It'll be crazy to see once it finally <clears throat> happens, but... um, I mean, what I was pulling out before was was, was just decent to me. I, I, I knew I, I understand was that. I understand where you're coming from with yeah. it, but I would say, like, you... I mean, because you, you're comparing yourself to, like, bigger people. Yeah, like, bigger if, people. If you, if you think about it in, like, perspective of, like, down here, of, like, who's really bringing people out, it's you and Ski and not really... And Denzel. Lot. Pretty and much. And Denzel. Me, Ski, Denzel. But, but Denzel Wi-Fi. doesn't really do shows like that. Like, y'all were on, like, every... No, Denzel just does shows in different states, man. He yeah, yeah. I mean, he, it's a little different. It's a little different because yeah. he's, like, a little different point. You know what I mean? Mm. But, um, but, yeah, like, y'all bring people out. But, yeah. um... Yeah, but yeah, we needed you, and, and and we needed you, and not having you was, was a problem. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I'm glad, I'm glad you're back, and I'm glad that it's that you're gonna be able to start doing shows again, cause like we really Thanks, did, we really really did need you out down here, cause you you've done a lot, bro. You, whether you want to believe it or not, whether however you feel about it, like you have done a lot for this South Florida I'm culture. Just, I'm just waiting to feel it. I'm just I feel waiting you. To feel it pretty much. I feel you. I feel you 100. percent so on that note, like, so the upcoming shows are the the Tampa show, the Miami show. Yeah, I got uh, they're they're all in October, man. I I don't know the specific dates of them, but yeah. shout out to my boy Bezzy. Um, Bezzy's the one throwing the Miami show. Um, and then I got these these guys uh from fucking Tampa Tribe Events that's uh planning some shit with me. So right now these are the only two shows I know of because I don't want to keep making assumptions that I'm gonna be able to like I, like as of right now I know I can do shows, but I'm just trying to make sure like. I'm very timely with it. I'm trying to make sure yeah. I plan them well because I don't want this lady to try and fuck me over, man. Yeah, I feel you. How how was that whole thing like we're, we're, when when you? Cause I, I was I was gonna show up to a couple of your court dates, but I, they kept getting like moved and shit. Uh, I mean, like, was it like a problem that a bunch of people were showing just, up? Nah, no, the 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 people showing up definitely helped because yeah. it showed the court the court system pretty much showed that you're an influential in the court person. That, that I'm a very influential person and that I do have a pull. Yeah. So. It made them consider my uh, my career as a, a rap artist yeah. or a music a musician or an artist in itself. That's amazing. And, and take it very uh, uh, not. It, it made them not see it. Just as like brush it off. Yeah, like it didn't you're make just them not like another rapper. Yeah, when they saw the numbers, like like man, I get like one point sixteen million a week, man. Yeah. One point sixteen million plays a fucking week, man. Like that's insane. When they like when you see some shit like that, that's that's. You know what's you crazy? Know you know what's crazy too is I remember like one of the first times I met you was at that show that I was throwing that like a bunch of people were on. Yeah. And, like I just threw a bunch of people on there because like it was just like my first show. I didn't really know what I was doing and I kind of just wanted people Going to Hollywood. show up. Yeah, yeah. And y'all showed up 
And I remember you had hit me up before and like, honestly, like, I feel like that's like one of my biggest mistakes is like not letting y'all, like, sh- I should have just said fucking yes. Yeah, you know no, y'all let, it, y'all let us in. Y'all I, let I us mean, in. yeah, of course. Like, you know, cause I mean, also though, at the same time, like not, not, I don't want to make it sound weird, but like, I was a little scared. I'm like, damn, is this kid going to hit me right now? <laughs> like, <laughs> no, you know bro. what I'm saying? But I talked to Tay and I was just like, yo, I wasn't mad at y'all. I was mad at Tay. You know what I'm saying? Cause he told y'all something, yeah. whatever. Long story short, like. I just should have. I just should have like. Yo, I play fought with your cousin that day. I know. I broke his and finger. And you know what's so crazy? You know what's <laughs> I so broke crazy? his fucking like, finger. You and my cousin, like you remind me of my cousin so much. Yeah, bro. bro. He's, like, yeah, bro. He's, so much. Yeah, bro. He's got a fighter spirit, bro. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, we, was, like, we was throwing hands and shit. Like, like the first time bro, he I broke his fucking bro. I broke yeah. his finger on accident, bro. And like he soldiered that shit. Yeah, out, I know. Bro. I'm telling you that dude. That dude's crazy. It's funny. <laughs> it's so funny because like I was either thinking like, yo, these kids are gonna like not fuck with each other at all, or they're gonna fuck with each other. Yeah. Exactly. Cause no, like, I'm, I'm more of a, um, when it comes to anybody that has the same amount of energy as me, I'm more of a, an accepting guy. I don't like to, I only like to challenge out of, out of joy, pretty much out of, out of fun. Yeah, and he was down, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, cause y'all are like the same kind of person. Yeah, you know, he asked me to play fight. <laughs> he was like, he was like, yo, he was like, you, he was like, yo, you want to play fight? I was like, I was like, sure. He was like, yo, I fuck with you. You're the only person that would do that shit. I was like, yo, that's tight. Yo, shout out to John that's Ryan. Right. That's funny yeah, as fuck. So we just went around slapping each other and shit. But, um, yeah, well, but yeah, I, honestly, I just, I don't know. It's just crazy to see, like, how far you've come, you know what I mean? Because, like, that was, bro, I remember the first time, the first time we, we talked through DM was, like, February 2015. That's, like, a yeah. little over a year ago, and, like, yeah. just, you had, like, 2,000 followers. To I mean, I have, a, I have a few, I have a few favorite videographers, man. I only have, like, 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 three, three to four, man. It's, it's pretty much, um, JMP. Nasaker, you and fucking Forbes, Forbes from UOT. It's, you guys crazy. are you That's guys are the only ones that like I pay attention to. I don't really don't pay, give a fuck or pay attention to. You know what's else. crazy is like I don't even feel like I'm that great of a videographer. I no, I mean, see the thing is, I like anybody that's consistent, and you're by far yeah, consistent. I'm, you brand, you definitely. I work branded. hard. I work hard. Yeah, and you've brand, and you've beyond like branded, like you've branded very, 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 very well, and I like the concept to to what you've done because now you, I mean, the, I what I've taken from the whole Mars is that it's a higher level of thinking. That's what I've taken from yeah. it. I think, like, you know what the fuck you're doing and you're going to preconceive yeah. this plan, this master plan, and I feel like you are going to be great. Mm-hmm. I feel like you're sleeping on yourself. I feel like you're going to be great. I, I kind of feel you. I, I mean, I just... I'll, I'm kind of, like, the same way as you in the sense that, like, I don't think I'm shit yet. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, it's going to come, though. I hope it does. I hope I hope one day I could, like, wake up in the morning and be like, yeah, I'm the shit. Yeah, no, you got But it. I also feel like that might, like, lose... Like, I might lose, like, a little bit of, like, um... I guess hunger maybe for it because yeah. like if I think I'm the shit then like what am no, I you never lose it because life will always throw you a fucking obstacle yeah. you know, realize you, there is no such thing the only way you lose it is if you're a fucking fool and if you can't if you can't I mean if you can't if you can't remain consistent man you, you're fucked yeah, if you you, give up. yeah if you, you're fucked man that's just all it is like and like I mean I say that to all my friends, man. I say that to like everybody I fuck with. I was like it's all about remaining consistent. That's why I, I really fuck with Wi Fi. Wi Fi is funeral, man, because that nigga is consistent. Like even with even with dro- dropping material, even with constantly doing shows, he and that nigga that nigga is consistent. When it comes to consistency, Wi Fi is definitely consistent. There is a lot there is a lot more people that are far more consistent than me. I feel like I'm just as far as conceiving my plans, like I've 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 just always been like I don't know when I when I do anything it's just it's from the heart so it's just always it's always different than what everybody else does but I mean just niggas like niggas there's far more like there's people who are far more consistent than me yeah and they're gonna be far there are people who are far more successful than me I'm gonna see it plenty of times yeah but I I mean I think I think with you though is like you you're like. Like, everything you say in your songs is, like, a real feeling. Like, everything yeah. feels real. Like, nothing that you do feels forced. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, Except cocaine for my breakfast. Hold that pistol. I'm <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I still, like, even though, even maybe if you don't believe what you're saying, like, you still say it. Like, it you can feels feel it in the real. core, like, yeah. It feels, you can feel it in the core. It feels it. Yeah, it's just, it's just that energy, man. It's, I bring energy to, to a track. I don't, I come on the track and not giving off my persona. What up? I have a question. What, what, like, like, cause I, I know you, you used to like kind of spit just like straight bars. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, what was the, what led them to it? What was the, Papa what Roach. Was the switch? Papa, Papa Roach. Roach. Papa Roach, Three Years Grace, The Fray. They, they played a big fucking, like, bro, they played a big fucking toll. On, like, they took a big toll on, on my mind, man. They, 
Because, like, I was just listening to, like, all rap, all rap, all rap, all rap, all rap. And I was like, yo, there's something else out here. Like, this this is far too, like, this is far too cliche for me. This is, this is just, they just repeat the same shit over and over again. They want to fuck a bitch. Are they talking about how you shouldn't, like, like what you shouldn't do? Or, but it's just like, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I feel what you're saying. Rappers are just talking about the same shit. So I, I went to rock to find, like, to see if there's different material. And they're talking about heartbreak. They're talking about heroin, heroin addiction, fucking, I mean... A bunch of crazy shit, man. They're talking about, like... Bro, like, I I don't know. I fell into, like, some crazy rock, man. Some crazy, crazy, crazy fucking rock. Like, like, like besides them, like, who do you who do you listen to? Like, who inspires you? Because I know, like... You, you're my, you're my, a big Kurt Cobain fan, right? Yeah, the only person that inspires me, the word inspire, the only person that inspires me is Kurt Cobain because I feel like he went out with his mystique. Anybody that can die with their mystique definitely completed what they, what they started. Because he died a character. Nobody ever got to see the other side of him. Nobody ever got to see that human side of him. And I definitely want to, like, conquer that. I want to definitely become my persona altogether. So, I mean, he just, he, he did it right as fuck, man. Um, I'm going to go, like, just real quick to some Twitter questions, because, like, some people were asking questions on Twitter. Or whatever. Yeah, that's um, what's the name about and how the fuck do you say it is what somebody said about XXX it. Tentacion yeah what does that what does it mean I know it means something in Latin right it, yeah it means unknown temptation unknown temptation yes it means unknown temptation that is what my name means it means temptation <laughs> crazy things or sexual temptation but the all together meaning is unknown temptation that is the biggest meaning behind it because all throughout life everything will be unknown temptation life is revolves around choices pretty much so you have the tempting one, and then you have the less appealing one. Did um when you when you were in jail, did you did you like? I mean, I don't know how long you how long were you gone for? Only like three months. Three months? Did yeah, you? Yeah, but it felt like forever. Yeah. Did you? I mean, were was there was there a way to like write to you and shit, or, or you couldn't even yeah. get mail and shit? Yeah. The only person that really wrote to me, I actually had my dad write me from from fucking. Uh, he was actually being transported to Jamaica, but he he fucking messaged me from the. Uh, Fuck, the, I forgot what it's deportation, man. He sent me a fucking uh, a letter just trying to trying to put me on beat. I mean, what he sent ended up not mattering, but, I mean, he just sent me an important letter. And then, um, I mean, my girl tried to send me a letter, but I ended up telling her not to because I just didn't feel like I was going to be in there that long. And, yeah, yeah. And I was, just, I was making phone calls, so I was like, fuck a letter, pretty yeah, much. Yeah, yeah. But I just didn't disclose, I, I mean, give out as much information to, to get letters as much as... Yeah, yeah, because, I mean, I, I was trying to get some type of information just to write you, just to sh show you, I mean, like, people out here. I mean, I, I know you know, but, like... Yeah, you know yeah man, fuck you, man. <laughs> yeah, I feel you, I feel you. That shit, that shit's rough. I, I can't even imagine. I, I went to jail for fucking, like, 24 hours one time. Yeah, it's like, not fun. You probably um, did not enjoy it. Not fun. The dude, the dude under me was, like, having night terrors and, like... It was freaking me out. Try being around fucking crackheads 24-7, and then right after you get out of jail, you go to a fucking psych ward. That's not fun. What what, what was that about? I, I actually saw him. Can't say, shit. but just... Can't say. Yeah, it just... Yeah, it just know I went to a psych ward. <laughs> um, somebody on somebody on Twitter wants to know, what's the next tour date and album? Um, the next tour date, uh, as far as planning the tour, I mean, I'm going to work some shit out. I'm gonna, like, when I plan the tour, it's going to be huge, and I mean huge. Like, I'm not doing the tour unless it's fucking... Huge, cause the one with me and Wi-Fi and Ski and Danny Towers is gonna be at least like it was gonna be decent. We were gonna have a, a decent pull, but they they went through it without me, so I gotta surpass. I gotta surpass that. I can't um I can't I can't settle for the level under it. Yeah, I can't settle for less. I gotta definitely surpass that. I feel that. So if I do, when I do the tour, it's gonna be great. But um the release date for for uh, Bad Vibes Forever as of now is October thirty first. At the rate everything is going, hopefully I have it uh, completed before then so I can give it to everybody on time. But I just got to get all the uh, production and engineering finished. All the lyrics and, uh, and and concepts are done pretty much. It's just getting the hard part done. Did you did you um did you produce a lot of the stuff on the new? Um, I'm going to I'm going to co produce I co produce everything like I co produce like I mean not not there's a couple songs on there that I did not co produce yeah. but I mean like as far as like like all right when I did I spoke to the devil in Miami I did that sample myself I yeah. I sampled um the piano I was his name's Ecor it's either Al Sane or Ecor but the, I think the song is Al Sane and his name is Ecor I sampled that myself I sampled his keys and uh did the production myself I did all of that myself. Um, the co-production on when ring uh, wing ridden angel I did, 
I mean, Snow, I had somebody engineer for me, but I got that from Kill Station. Um, I mean, I, I picked I pick Kill Station out as my muse for that for that tape. Um, I mean, a, a lot of shit that I fucked with has all pretty much been co-produced by me, or at least like, like perceived by me. Like I've always, I've always been very, 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 very picky, and I feel like that's, I feel like my instrumentals are why I'm so great because I don't fuck up on instrumentals. Yeah, yeah, you, you like pick the right ones, and you you know exactly what you want. I feel like you have like such a clear vision, like such a clear vision. Like I feel like sometimes if it does if it doesn't fall together, I'm not gonna post it. Yeah. If it doesn't if it doesn't feel right, I'm not gonna post it. Yeah. And if I do post it, I'm gonna delete it like two seconds after. That's why my fans hate me because I don't stick to it. Yeah. Did you did you drop something when you came out? Yeah, it was called. Because uh, I was I looking w- for it today yeah, and I couldn't find it. It's called it. "I Wonder If Bloods Watch Blue, Blues Clues." Yeah, <laughs> I, I heard it. I heard yeah, it. Yeah, no, nah, it was a song that I didn't want to drop, bro. And my my like my friends were forcing me to drop it, so I ended up dropping it for like a day. A day it touched like a hundred k and then I deleted it. Yeah. I feel you. Yeah, That's I, so crazy that you could just drop a song like that and get 100k. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't that feel good? It, 100k feels like nothing, though, man. I want to see all millions. I mean, but just like one day, though. You know what nah, I mean? Nah, it still feels like nothing. It still feels like yeah, nothing. I don't. I don't. I'm, you don't celebrate I'm your not success. Satisfied. No, I, I celebrate it. I'm very, I'm very much so grateful. I think that's why I've maintained as long as I have and I, why I've gotten as quick. I haven't gotten as big as I have as quick and why my fan base is as dedicated. But I mean, man, I just. I just can't settle for for what I am, because like I said, it's like being a like a pebble out of a a fucking mountain of boulders. Yeah, I feel you. I feel you. So it's it's just all a pyramid scheme, man. I'm trying to go up in the pyramid scheme as we speak. I feel that. Are you allowed to talk about anything with your cases? Are there I'm any not, of the closest case? Are not, any of the my, cases closed? My manager does not want me to talk about it. My mother would kill me. Uh, my lawyer would kill me. Anything involving my case. Does not matter as far as as far as anything was. I, I just know I'm gonna be fine. The more I I, I uh, dwell on it, I re- yeah. The more I dwell on it, is not gonna attract anything good. But yeah. I'm retaining a lot of positive energy from just the people around me, so I'm gonna be fine. And if I'm not fine, then life. I mean, then fuck it. Life goes on. Yeah. Everybody will cry for like two days and then we'll move on. Are are you? I mean, I feel like this is a dumb question, but somebody on Twitter asked, so don't don't shoot me for it. But uh, are you and Ski still cool? Uh, conversation with Ski, I feel like it's definitely been very, 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 very avoided. I'm going to break it down for everybody, and I'm going to start telling everybody this, and this is for all my fans. If you give a fuck about me, pay the fuck attention to what I'm saying. Ski has an ego. Ski has an ego. I have an ego. We have pride. We are men. We have pride. When you come onto another man's Periscope or come onto another man's Twitter and ask another man about another man, how the fuck do you think that sounds like? I've I've seen like people go, like I've seen people go beyond like beyond some normal shit to ask me about like my partner, and I've seen people like do it to him. Like he used to always tell me, uh, like yo, people always asking me about you. I hate that shit. Da da da. Yeah. And then I didn't start feeling it until he got a bit bigger. Yeah. And then when it started to happen to me, I was legitimately like, what the fuck is yeah. going on with these people? I, I just don't get how these kids find it in themselves to go ask another man about another man. But in the, in the, in the, in the, in the short term, Ski has an ego. Ski uh, has uh, been going through his, uh, his own personal problems. Um, I have always tried to help him. Uh, I'm not going to speak on him negatively because that is my brother beyond anything. But uh, he has a very, what's the word? Uh, he, he He's a very tunnel vision person man yeah. when he has his when he has his, his look on something and and it, he, whether it's right or it's wrong he's gonna go in the direction he wants to go in so he had to feel what he had to feel on his own he had to go through all the trouble he's been going through on his own for him to understand what I've I've warned him about because I be going into this career or going into what we've gone into I've always prepared ski I've always I've always tutored ski through a lot of shit I've always told him Exactly how he's supposed to operate with a lot of things on a, on a business tip as a on a mental tip on, uh, with everything, man. Um, I mean, that's my brother. That's my brother beyond anything. Nobody needs to keep asking like like what's going on because nothing is going on. That is literally what it is. Nothing. Yeah. Nothing is going on. We are not. We're not beefing, but we're not speaking. We're not. We're not mad at each other. We are cordial. We stand where we stand. Um, 
whenever we want to make music, we will fucking make music. If we don't feel like making music, we're not going to make music. Everybody needs to calm down. It's not that serious. We're, we're going to be straight. Yeah, you know what's crazy about that is I, I relate to that so, so, so much. Because, um, like, my best friend, Evan, Flower Cop. Yeah, Flower Cop. Like, <laughs> bro, like, I, I swear it's, like, the same thing. Like, yeah. people always ask me, like, yo, where's Flower Cop? Yo, what's up with Flower Cop? And, like, people think we're beefing, but it's just, like... It's just, like, bro, get off my just, dick. Yeah, we just need to, <laughs> like, like... It's, like, bro, like, bro, it's, like... Like, all right, I'm gonna give a perfect. I'm gonna give a perfect example. Like, my girl has been on Periscope. My fans will come on and be like, "Yo, what's going on with X and Ski?" Yeah. Who the fuck wants to see that? Yeah. <laughs> like, what, like, what the fuck? That's the last thing I want a fan asking my girlfriend. You feel yeah, me? Like, yeah. like I'll see that shit and I'll be like, "Yo, like, what the fuck is wrong with y'all?" You feel me? But I'm not about to snap on my fans. No, but this is the. This is the. This is me speaking out on it. Stop that shit. We fucking hate that shit. If you keep doing that shit, we're gonna fucking diss you. Be smart. If you have if you have your own life, you don't want anybody else asking you about your best friend's fucking life. Yeah. They want you want your spotlight to be your spotlight. I've got I mean, it doesn't bother me because I haven't said anything yet. I got asked a question. It doesn't bother me, but don't do it. It's it's annoying. It's annoying and it's childish. No, I, I, yo, I'm telling you, I relate to that so much. And it's, it's kind of put a strain on my, my relationship with him because because people always ask if me about If it puts a strain him. on you, you're weak. You think so? Yeah, I think you're weak if you, it puts a strain on you because as brothers or as friends, what the fuck does it matter? No, you're, you're gonna, right. You're, you're right. going to realize that pride. But I feel, like, I feel like it has caused some separation. Yeah, pride is a burden, man. Pride yeah. is a fucking burden because with anything in life, you're going to realize everything will shit on your pride. Yeah. It's gonna piss and shit and slap such, your pride. I try to be such a face. humble person though, but you don't, it's, it's hard you don't if you, you don't if you if you if get, it puts a strain if you, on it puts a strain on you. You're right. You're hundred percent right. You just gotta pretty much like take it as it is. It's like all right, people are people are gonna ask these questions. What the yeah. fuck is it gonna do to me? Does it does it decrease your money worth? No. It, right. Does it harm you or him? No. It's just pretty much saying, Hey, we're reminding you that your pride it, yeah. you know, is gonna fuck you. No, you're 100% right. You're, that, that's yeah. so real. That's so Man, so pretty much, real. bro, the way I see it, as long as your best friend doesn't try and fuck you over in any sort of way, you're good. Nothing else matters. I'm about to call Evan after this interview. <laughs> good. Good. You're going gonna, you're gonna to realize, bro. I've, bro, I've gone through so fucking much, man. I've gone through so fucking much. No, I feel like you're, you're super wise, though. Like, like, I don't know. It's crazy. The first time I met you and the first time we, like, not the first time I met you, but the first time like you came through and like we went to my my, my home my homie's crib yeah. and we were chilling. Like I I realized like how smart you actually were. Like you yeah. you. I love love now. I love love now. I, I mean, I, think, I could tell. I think though, I was smart before. I think you were smart, but you just maybe you're more smart now. Mm. But like I just like I don't know, man. I, I really I don't even I can't even put a word on it. But I'm just it's just it just. It shows me that you're in a place because you deserve to be in a place. You know what I mean? <laughs> because the, the, the thought like, is there. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, <laughs> Some people just literally wing it. And yeah, get yeah, exactly. Ex- exactly. Yeah. No, no, like, yeah, I, pl- I plan this. I plan it it this, shows me that, like, it, it kind of shows the separation. It kind of shows me why you are where you are and other people aren't where they are. You know what I nobody, mean? Nobody will ever have the spot I have because anything after me will be imitated. Yeah, and, oh, boom, that's another question I wanted to ask. Like, since you've been gone, like, like I've literally gone to shows and just like seen people like, like do you, do you realize how influential you are to yeah. like the South and Florida? Scene? I, no, I've, like, I've seen the influence. I've seen the influence. Like, as is, far as music, yes, it's crazy, bro. How like, many people try to imitate my music? Yes, try to imitate your music and just like when they go to perform, like they even like use too. some of your mannerisms. Like I yeah. seen a kid perform and like he was dead ass, like doing what you do when you perform. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I taught I taught a couple people how to perform. I don't know, but I don't think you taught this person, you know what I'm saying? I think it was just like, this dude seen you perform a bunch yeah. of times. no, it happens. And just like, you it know happens. what I mean? Like, yeah, it happens. <laughs> that's yeah, just I, crazy. I, like I said. But you brought like an energy, you know what I'm saying? Like you brought like a whole energy, like you wouldn't. You I, think I, give a, I think I give performing a system. I give it a system. Um, when I come in, I expect a certain thing. You expect a certain thing out of me. Why the fuck would I come there and expect you to look at me? Like, yeah. if you're going to do that, if you're going to come, I'm saying this to everybody. If you're going to come to my shows and look at me and you're not going to like, like punch me in my shit. Yeah. Like, get the fuck out of my show. You know what's so crazy is I'll be filming you sometimes. And I'm like, fuck, do I film this shit? Or, or do I jump in this shit? <laughs> yeah, man. Like, no, nah, man. Like, no, nah, man. I, I, I got a system to this shit. Like, when I come, like. I want to cause world chaos. Like I, I've had, like I've had some people tell me, like, man, they feel like, 
like I bring up hell, like I, I make hell rise from the ground when I perform. I could feel that. Yeah, it's because that. that energy, like all I do. See, the thing is, a lot of like you're gonna realize all the life revolves around energy, bro. And I mean, like I mean it when I say a lot of these artists take energy from their fans and shit. I don't do that. I just make you fucking like. I feel like you like, give energy. Yeah, I, I kind of do. Admit, like, I'll, admit I'll literally, the I'll have you admit energy. I'll add mine to it. Have you spit it at me, spit it back at you, and have it multiply. Yeah. Pretty much, and then I'll just end up, like, drained after. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it's all, it's all, like, it's always good because then in, in the long run, with me not being selfish with as far as with the energy I'm giving, I always get it back and more. Yeah. So it's really about, it's really about having that passive state of mind, pretty much. It's like, like, man, if you're, if you're more accepting and you're more, like, and you're less, con- like, you're less of a conformist with anything that you do, man, you get rewarded a fuckload, man. So, like, if some shit happens to you and you accept it, man, you're going to get rewarded. And I mean that. Like, horrible shit is going to happen to people. Horrible shit is going to happen to me. I mean, good shit is going to happen to me. Wonderful shit is going to happen to me, but horrible shit is going to happen to me. So, I mean, I, all I can do is accept it or else it's going to just, it's going to break me. Do you feel like you, you maybe, maybe you expect a lot out of people sometimes or do you not feel like you... you no, I don't expect anything out of anyone anymore. But you My just... My expectations are low. That's, I mean, and it's... So, if somebody, if so if somebody... If somebody can't even meet your low expectations, nope. it's no, like... No, I expect... I'm starting not to expect anything from anyone. Have you learned People that? have broken my heart. Yeah. So you've learned to, like, just yeah. not even. I don't. I don't care for expectations anymore. Um, how do you feel about perp right now? You still... It's perp? Space goes perp? It's still um, called perp? Here's what I'm going to do this. I went to jail. I had a long time around people that are... That legitimately do do this beef shit. Um, I have no beef with Space Ghost Perp. I wish Space Ghost Perp the best in his career. I wish Space Ghost Perp the best in a lot of things. People probably don't realize it, but he, he's smart. He's on beat because I see that he has the Star of David tattooed on his on his forehead. I've gotten more into these, uh, the spiritual awareness or, or anything involving the soul, and I know that Space Ghost Perp is, is on beat. So um, anything as far as that I perceived about him before, I mean, we're not friends, man. We're not. We, we had beef, man, but... In all honesty, my 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 outlook on anything is if it's not gonna if it's not gonna affect me, why why am I giving it yeah. any attention? Yeah, yeah. Like we've, uh, I mean, I tried to fight him before. We're not gonna fight. It's not it's not something that's gonna benefit us yeah, even if we do yeah. fight. You feel me? So yeah. at this point in time, it's really like I'm gonna just tell y'all this. I'm gonna just put it this way. I got something planned for Miami and Broward. That's that's gonna that's gonna make everybody sick. Let's say, hypothetically speaking, he sends you some beats. Are you rapping on him if you like I'm going to do not? something in Florida that's going to make everyone sick. Yeah. And I mean down to the very, 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 very core of the underground in Florida. I'm going to make Florida what it was supposed to be. I'm going to make Florida the new Atlanta. Yeah, I, f- Atlanta I, f- is I on feel top like, I feel like, I, f- yes, I'm I tired feel of Atlanta. like you are going to do what yes. Perp should have done. Yes, I do no, feel I'm going to do what any person should have done. I'm not giving Perp any credit with that because anybody could have done it. Yeah, I feel 100%. like people gave, I feel like people held him too much to a burden. I feel like people expect too much to him. I'm gonna do what anybody should have done, and if I don't do it, I'm gonna die trying. See, 100%. the thing is, I, like, I, like I was trying to say before, Atlanta runs this shit, man. Atlanta fucking runs this shit. The Migos, Gucci Mane, motherfucking- uh, 21 Savage. 21 we Savage, Savage Young, Young Thug. Thug. We can go forever. Bro, man, we can go forever. how the, the fuck does Florida forever. want, bro? They're only a state above us. How the fuck does Florida want to put up with that shit? I feel like we, I feel like, I feel like sometimes I feel like that the re- They the, stick like, together. They That's not what only it is. do they stick together. They have a system. They know how to operate. Like, they act as a family. Have you ever been to A3C? Because if you go to A3C, like, you see how Atlanta operates and, like, they fuck with every, like, it could be a no, like, nobody knows who this guy is and everybody's still turning up. You know what I'm saying? I feel yeah. like Florida's, like, a little, like, snobby about it. Like, you know what no, I'm saying? No, I just feel like, bro, I feel like Broward and Miami niggas want to prosper by themselves and they're not willing to give yeah. out any handouts. Um... If somebody comes with, comes to me in need of in need of, in need of teaching or in need of help, I will always try and offer while I can. I mean, I see a lot of people ask for just handouts in itself, but if you come to me with some sort of knowledge, yeah. and show me that you are perceiving or show me showing me you are on B R at the level I am of thinking. If you catch my attention, you feel me? Because I won't always, bro. You gotta realize with a thousand messages, you're not always gonna yeah, fucking want to respond. You feel 100%. me? Hundred percent. I but, bro, I get like twenty messages and I'm already yeah, like overwhelmed exactly. about so, it. With anything, bro, it's like, if anybody comes to me and I peep that you're on beat, I'm going to always say on beat as far as, like, that you're on at my level of thinking. Yeah. If you're on beat, man, 
I'm gonna help you however I can. No, I mean even with this, bro. Like this is a blessing. Like yeah. you doing this for me, like is a blessing, bro. Like this is like this is beautiful. You were always, you're you, always nice to me. I'm telling you, you called me and I had chills when you told me. Like I you're, had chills, no, bro. When you're you were always me. You, were, you were always nice to me. I just as far as like visual interviews, I'm leaving that shit alone because. If I could have done an audio inter- uh, interview as far as No Jumper, I definitely would have done it, but it wouldn't have been as much publicity. I got yeah. I got the public. Thank God for Adam, man. I fuck, yo, if Adam hears this, man, Adam, yo, I yeah. love you, Shout bro. Shout out to Adam if you hear this. I'm I, getting a No Jumper tattoo. Yeah. Yo, tattoo I love, no, nah, I mean, I mean, I literally mean it when I say I love that nigga, bro. Adam is fucking cool, bro. Like, and like, yo, not only that, like, yo, that interview is one of the most viewed interviews. Yeah, and, and I was watching it, like, cause I, 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 look at, I look at No Jumper every day, bro, and I was watching it after after a week, it had eighty thousand type shit. Or yeah. After no, no, month after, or after, after, no, after, month or after like three days, I had like twenty k. It was crazy. It was crazy, and, and it was just jumping past all the interviews around it. Yeah. Like I was looking at all the ones before it, and it was flying. Nobody's talking. Nobody's talking. Nobody's talking about, or nobody will talk about what I'm talking about ever. Because my mind, my mind, just like my mind is somewhere else, somewhere else. Like I mean it, and that's that's my problem. My mind is somewhere else. It's, it's a burden, but it's also a, a great gift. thing. Yeah, yeah, it's also yeah. a gift. But my mind is somewhere else, man. My mind will always be somewhere else. And I'm just learning to accept it pretty much. So that's where my individualism will always come in because my mind is somewhere else. Yeah. With the with the new album that you're working on or whatever, like... Uh, it's what, fire. What, what, <laughs> but what's the sound of it? Are you, are you, are you it's, doing... It's like, all experimental. It's all... It's all um, I have everything. I have everything. Just, if, just like if you've seen my SoundCloud... It's like going through my song club. You're gonna discover everything. I have, I have, have melancholy any, indie. I have do rap. Do you have any of it on you so we can like listen to it? I after? do not. I Damn. do not. I'm I trying to not. hear something. It's gonna be. It's gonna I'm be fire. To some exclusive X. No, when yeah, I get it, when I get it done, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be um, playing the shit. But as of now, no, no, nothing right now. Um, random question. What's your What's your relationship with Denzel like at this point? That's my brother. That's your brother. Yo, brother? anybody that's on me is my brother. Anybody. What I was mean, there was no there was like a little riff at one point. Um, the only problem I had was, was BC. Yeah, he, he had got he had linked back, and it, it was pretty bitchy of me. Like now that I thought about it, when I bro, when I went to jail, I changed my perspective on a lot of shit. Cause yeah. I met some real like real deal people that real deal kill people, bro. Yeah. No, no, but I mean that. Like I met some real deal niggas that real deal kill people, and they they made me feel pussy forever, even like sending anything on the internet. Yeah. Cause I was like think like this nigga told me like his um fuck I forgot his name his name his last name was like Moore. It was he was he was a nigga from um, New York, so he had came from fucking um, Rikers, Riker, uh, Rikers Island. So y'all know that Rikers Island is fucking crazy. You feel yeah. me? He had like four attempts, bro. Four attempt murders, bro. And that was my fucking bunky, bro. He he was mad cool. Never disrespected me. Always we were always cool. We almost fought like once, but it was like it was just on some stupid shit. Yeah, like, you feel yeah. me? I had to like count my pride so yeah, that way yeah. you feel me we wouldn't no, fuck 100%. up. But no, like, like bro, like he was just telling me he was like it's not beef if the nigga is still in the street. It's not beef if you can see the nigga and not want to fucking splat him. It's yeah. not beef if that nigga, if that, if you, when you see that nigga, you're not trying to fucking kill that nigga. Yeah. If he can still walk the block, bro, it's not fucking beef, bro. This Twitter shit is not fucking beef. That's why I came home and I don't really give a fuck for anything, bro. Because it's like, bro, why, what the fuck is the point of fighting, bro? What is it going to do, bro? Because yeah, all yeah. it does is help my pride and then my pride just gets shit on with something else. Yeah. So, like, it's like, bro. What the fuck is it really going to do? It's not going to do anything, bro. It's all going to lead into foolishness, bro. Because that's like, all right, that's like me going to go beat up some, beat somebody's fucking kid up, right? And then I break their fucking neck, bro. I break their fucking neck. And I didn't kill them, you feel me? And they, they live. And then I end up going to jail for it. I end up going to prison for it. That's not beef. I didn't smoke that nigga. I fought him and an ha- accident happened and now I'm in fucking prison, bro. That's yeah. something I want to avoid. If I got beef with you, bro, if I got real deal beef with you, I'm going to just smoke you. I'm going to just smoke you, bro. And nobody's worth that, bro. Nobody is worth me going to prison for the rest of my life. Yeah. Bro, bro being in jail for, th- bro, it was only three months. I had served like a a, a, a year in a fucking um, gram, but. Like, bro, three months in that county jail will change you, bro. Three months in that, in any jail will fucking change you, bro, because you realize nothing is worth yeah, you being not, in that shit, bro. They're that taking deep. your soul from you, bro. Yeah. They're telling you you're going to spend the rest of your life here and there's nothing you can do about it because if you run away, we're going to come get you. Yeah. And we've got barbed wire, so you're going to have to fuck your skin up to get out. It's, they're telling you you're fucked. Your soul is ours. You feel me? Yeah. That's the last thing you want to do. And then you go in there, and if you go in there, like, 
with no like with no knowing, bro, you can go in there and it's gonna be like a ton of bricks hitting you. Cause you gotta go in there spiritually aware, bro. You gotta go in there knowing how to lucid dream or astral project or or meditate or reach a higher level of thinking or to make bro to make your soul basically leave your body, bro. That's the only way you're gonna get out of jail. That's the only fucking way, and that's all that shit is possible. Look up astral projection. All of that shit is possible. Yeah, nah, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a big sleeper. I lucid dream. Almost yeah, every you lucid night. see, and I, bro, that's the point I'm trying to get to. Like when I was in jail, I got to the point of learning how to astral project. I got, I got into the point of learning how to meditate. I got into the point of learning how to see which energies I'm using in my body. I got into the point of knowing all of that shit. I'm like with, with. Like this, and this is just something that's available to anybody. Yeah. I'm not saying any. I'm putting everybody on beat that should practice this shit because, bro, I don't think it's fucking fair that nobody's getting a chance because they don't know this shit. Pay attention to that shit. You are the key. You are the key. Nothing else is the key. The law of attraction at its finest will always work with the human mind. Anything you want, you can attract. You are the key you can be more successful than i am you may have more energy than i do i am nothing special use your brain attract what you want believe in yourself you are you are capable that alone is the key to success what do you think happens after you die if you didn't get it right you're gonna come back until you get it right yeah i believe i believe in the in the ultimate god concept i believe in Satan, I believe in demons, I believe in ghosts, I believe in spirits, I believe in the spiritual realm. I believe in a lot of shit. I believe, bro, I believe in all that shit. I've yeah. experienced a lot of shit. Uh, my, my outlook on, on religion, I definitely do not have a religion because I feel like it's, it's man-made. Anybody can alter the Bible. Yeah, I could 100%. go write, I could go fucking print out my own Bible. And, I mean, and, and people would follow. Yeah, people would definitely follow. But see, my thing, my thing is, bro, like, what I've learned with the, with, with the whole God state of it, there definitely is a God. Uh, there definitely is a devil. Yeah, I mean, because you can't have one without you can't, the other. Yeah, you can't have one without the other. So if you've discovered any sort of soul, or you've seen a soul, there's God, my God. Yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> because sure. beyond beyond anything involving the soul, it always comes down to a God, like yeah. a God state of mind. You get what I'm saying? So, like, I definitely believe in the ultimate God. As far as what the, the Christian Bible or any other yeah, Bible yeah, perceives, I mean, no. But... I, I mean, I I've, looked, I've looked into 100%. the I look I've looked into the Muslim Bible. I've looked at uh, is is it the Quran? Oh, I've, yeah. yeah, I've looked into the Quran, and I definitely I definitely favor the Quran more than yeah, the Christian Bible. Yeah, you think Bible. it's like it's kind of like more like a yeah, because they spoke prayer point yeah, they type spoke, of system. Yeah, they spoke they spoke about basically uh the because uh, that's what it's about though, right? Yeah, it's the, like no, it's the same. You get like. Like you, you gotta pray a certain amount of time. No, nah, like not necessarily, get, like, bro. You don't even have to do that, bro. It's all, bro. It's all up to you, bro. It's basically, bro. What they say is just the only difference with the Quran is the level of praying that they do, the the specificness that they have, it's and like what they like do. It's almost like a point system, though. Yes, right? they have a point system to it, but like they don't say anything different from the Christian Bible, bro. No, I feel like I feel like I feel like religion should be like something that's taught in school, just because it. it no, I don't know. It opens minds, though. I, I feel like no, I feel like that's but gonna like fuck not, everything up. Not like not like one certain religion, like world no, religion. I don't feel like any religion should be taught in school. I feel like you don't people. Think so? I feel like if it's if it's real, they'll find it. I feel that. If it's real, they find it. If there's a God, they will find it. That makes sense. So makes my sense. thing is with the Quran, studying the Quran, like uh, the the Christian state of mind or the Christian. Uh, the Christian agreement is that Jesus was uh was like it's like kind they gave him kind of a god role. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But when you look into the Muslim Bible and you look it back into the Christian Bible, when they speak back on it, they say uh they basically revolve around the thought that uh that Jesus was a prophet. Pretty much they're saying that Jesus was a man chosen just as any man can be chosen, just as any man was given a gift. Jesus was a prophet. He came to deliver a message. He delivered his message, and then he died and went to heaven as he was supposed to. So the dying, uh, living with perfect sin, was was pretty much what he did. I mean, living without with, living without sin is pretty much what he did. But it's just they're just saying pretty much that Jesus was a prophet and he came down to give a message. So they yeah. they brother, it's the same fucking shit, bro. All of this shit is connected, bro. All of it is just it all comes down to like the idea of Jesus and what role he played. But all. The idea of there being a God, every fucking religion says there is a God. Yeah. Every religion is just having a higher state of mind, bro. The way I look at it, bro, is if you don't want to have a fucking horrible life in this life or the next one, live it appropriately. Not telling you you can't fuck bitches, bro, because that's not harming anyone. Not telling you you can't live your fucking life, do drugs, bro. If you want to fucking do drugs, do drugs. That's not harming anyone. 
But don't go out robbing people. Don't go out stabbing people. Don't go out beating people up. Don't go out doing anything that's going to fuck with anybody else's path because manifesting a, like a God in your life, you got to realize other people are manifesting a God in their life. You feel yeah. me? So you're stepping into their territory and fucking with their life. You get what I'm saying? That's like earning all this money and then somebody comes in and steals all your shit. That's a horrible fucking feeling. That's a horrible feeling. That's fucking up your whole life. Somebody came in and fucked up your whole story that you planned for yourself. Yeah. You might have had 50 million in there planning to take your, your, your three kids and your wife and go to a fucking island and get the fuck away from here. Somebody fucked that up for you. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. That's a horrible feeling. So if you want to live life, live it by... If you want to live life and you want to live it appropriately and, and come back in the next life and live a fucking wonderful life, man, stay the fuck away from negativity. And, and I'm not talking about with music. You can always... You can get rid... You can channel negativity through wonderful things because, you know, uh, fucking opposites attract. So I could give out a negative and possibly get out a positive. 100%. But yeah, I have to have that higher level of thinking to realize that giving out this negative is going to bring me a positive. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So I've, I've definitely always... I don't know. My, my level of thinking is weird. Yeah, no, but with... with okay, with your ideology <clears throat> with saying that, like, you, you die, come back until you get it right... Do you feel like you're close to getting it right? Because I feel like nope. you might be. Nope. I nope. put my hands on other people I already lost. Well, this life. Yeah. No. Nah, to live perfect. To live perfect. You got to figure you out. Think, you think you have to live a perfect life? Yeah. To get to the next to, level? To get to heaven, yes. So you think you have to be like something like, like a Mormon? Like, not like a Mormon, but no. like, you know, the dude's No, it's not about bikes. religion. It's about being self-sufficient. It's about the power in oneself. It's about ideally mimicking God. That's what it is. So you think you because be when like it comes down to art, when it comes down to any religion, it all has commandments, right? Yeah. You have to find the proper commandments. You have to find what what is real, because that's going to be the hardest part: finding out what is real and what rules you should follow. And the problem is with this shit, it's a big cycle, bro. You're not ever really. So you think you, got, you think you got to start over? Pretty pretty much. Give me a, give me a second. Where I was going. No, you're good. Yo. You want another beer? No, I'm sure. Yo. You do. You got, bro, it, are you about to, um, yeah, bro, you got to go, bro, because I'm, I'm, on, I'm on house arrest, so I can't go to, <laughs> bro, why are you talking about to, bro, you got to come to the, um, you gotta, and you're going to go to room, it, oh, you, hold on, hold on, I'm going to go outside real quick, hold on, hold on, yeah, this is like the best interview ever, <laughs> <laughs> how long are we gone so far, like an hour, Change. This is the best interview ever. It's gonna probably take boy, this shit. Hell yeah, this shit gonna take me an hour to bounce out. That's cool. But we gonna release that shit tonight. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's release it tonight. I'm, I'm fucking four beers in. I'm having a great time. This is a beautiful conversation. <laughs> I'm actually kind of happy we didn't record, like, the, the actual, because sometimes when I'm, like, on camera, I'm a little bit more nervous, you know what I'm saying? So, like, it's dope that, like, we're just, like... Sorry. My nigga, my nigga Rob Banks called me. Hey, hey yo, I, I love you fuck with that nigga. I fuck with that nigga heavy as fuck. That's my dog. Rob's coming right now? Yeah, he's coming up here. That's the way. Yeah, that's my fucking dog. Oh, um, I know. I was just telling him that this is probably, like, the best one ever, and I'm kind of glad that we didn't, like, record it on video, because sometimes on video, I'm, like, a little bit more nervous. Yeah. And, like, it's just... Yeah. I f you know what I mean? Like Cameras do something to you, man. Yeah. Cameras do something 100%. to you. hundred percent. You ever 100%. seen a bitch get in front of a camera and just get loose? Yeah, yeah. yeah and it, it does, does something to you, It man. does. It, it does, makes everybody look different. It does. It does. <laughs> it does. It does. Uh, uh, but every time, every time um, I met you, the first time I met you was at the hangar. At the hangar? And that's when you jumped over the little shit, you, you fucking hit your nuts. On. Oh, man. Oh, that was a horrible experience. <laughs> yeah, I hated that shit. Oh, my God. Yeah, I remember that. Uh, that, shit was, that, was, that was my first time seeing you perform. Yeah, shout shouts out to Drew Swayze. I did that show with Drew Swayze. Yeah, and ski. Yeah, and that's, that's my fucking Drew. brother. I want him to prosper, man. He's gonna prosper. Yeah, he is, man. I'm yeah. I'm really rooting for Drew. I'm yeah, really no, man, I'm gonna make sure, bro. Like I I told everybody that when I when I am where I am, everybody will get a piece. Everybody yeah. that did support me or did not give me any sort of negativity and handed me positivity will get a piece, yeah. and it's gonna be a, a, a pretty big fucking piece. No. It's like giving me. 
like a quarter of a slice of pie and get you know a whole what, pie. You know what my favorite thing about you is, is that you're such like, not only are you an incredible artist, but you're like also like a fan of what's going on around you. Yeah, you know what definitely. I'm saying? You and you're, not, you're not like the kind of person, I mean, I don't know, maybe you're on house arrest now, so maybe you would pick up and go to Cali, but I feel like you're more of like, like you're worried about the people around That's, you that more is than like in my city. Yeah, you gotta make your city love you first. If your city doesn't love you, who the fuck are you? Yeah, but I feel <laughs> like, but, but I feel like there's a separation. You know what I mean? Because I feel like a lot of people, well, up until I mean, up almost up until you guys, like up until you and Ski, everybody was like getting big here, or not even getting big here, going and then somewhere, somewhere else. Go no, going somewhere else first, getting big, and then coming back and here. Coming back. That shit don't work. That shit don't work. If the city love me, the city gonna put me on, and yeah. that's what it's doing. No, it's it's doing that. It's doing that to the fullest, and it's yeah, yeah. and it's wild, and it's it's crazy to see see like how how much has changed. People in Florida just like, gotta expand their minds, but that's why I'm so controversial because I do. And I do every fucking thing. I have punk rock, punk rap, punk rock, melancholy indie, uh, fucking storytelling rap, uh, bro. I bro, the only thing I haven't done is like jazz and country. <laughs> what I wanted to ask you is, um, who, uh, like, who's the biggest person that's reached out to you so far? And then I also wanted to ask you some other questions, but let's. Who's the um, biggest person that's reached out to you? I mean, Lil so Wayne's far? company reached out to me. Truck Fit or what? Yeah. Truck yeah, Fit reached out to you? Yeah, they're booking me. And they're booking you for a show? Yeah, in LA. That's so fire. And then I had uh, I had Mod Son. I just recently Yeah, discovered. Mod Son. I saw the yeah. Mod Son one today. Yeah, I just I, recently discovered who he was. He's a, he's a, actually a very, very, very nice guy. Very, very nice he's, guy. He's awesome. I, I would love to meet him and talk to him one yeah, time. Yeah, man. Um, he... He had he had invited me to he was saying that he wanted me to link for the Machine Gun Kelly and and him tour but uh just due to this house arrest shit I've yeah. definitely been like, like I almost I, like if I was if I was out I would have done that and then I also would have did a show with um with uh Wi Fi and Schoolboy Q so I mi- I missed quite a, f- a few experiences that I should have gone through yeah but I mean it's gonna come bro yeah like, it'll you, come I'm patient. You- you really are like an amazing artist and now honestly I've brought you up in almost every podcast <laughs> that I've done. I don't know if you've seen any of the other ones, but almost every every podcast I've done, I, I you and Ski have been brought up in conversation. Yeah. Like every I'm a huge fan, bro, and it's so crazy to see like cuz I've really seen you from like 2000 followers to what are you 38 now? Yeah, like, like some crazy number, like some I have crazy like, number. I have like 70 something on on SoundCloud. Like yeah, 77. I saw that shit yeah, today. Like 77, man. Like, like 77 or 78. Incredible, bro. Like, yeah, it's... Man. I... I'm about to be at 100 You know what's man. so crazy <laughs> is, like, growing up, I always wanted to be, like, like cool with somebody like Wiz Khalifa. Like, like yeah. when I was younger, I'm like, damn, I would love to be, like, one of Wiz Khalifa's friends. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. I feel like... I feel like you're on your way. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like, I feel, I feel like, like... I'm going to be far too controversial, though. Okay, maybe like okay, maybe Wiz Khalifa is a bad example because he's like a no, nah, but I, no, I'm I'm not saying in a comparison state of mind. I'm saying like I feel like I'm gonna be too big. Like if I don't die before I reach there, man, I'm gonna be too big. I, I think <laughs> I, no, and I, I, I and honestly, people are gonna hate me. I yo. honestly completely <laughs> agree with you. Bro. Yeah, no, people are I gonna fucking hate me. And, uh, Do you hear the shit I make these people's kids repeat? Yeah. People are gonna fucking hate me, dog. Yeah. I rap about selling my. I rapped about selling my soul in the song. <laughs> Somebody actually asked me that on Twitter. Did you really sell your? Did soul? I really sell my soul. I sold my soul to my to my to myself and to my fans. I I, I mean, you people look at selling your soul as as like uh, selling your soul to the devil. Something. Nah, they look at it like 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 it's selling your soul to the devil. It's really not selling your soul to the devil. It's giving your soul to something. Yeah. So giving a piece of your soul to. To uh to your career is giving a piece of your energy or your being to something. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So you could, but you could sell your soul to sex, nigga. You could sell your soul to a, a PS4. Like you'll hear, you watch, you're gonna meet somebody that's like, oh, you sold your soul to that PS4. Or sold your soul to that shit. It's because you're giving all of your soul to it. Yeah. Like, just giving all of your being. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So when I say I sold my soul, like I mean, when I speak in that song, I'm I'm literally speaking about selling my soul to a demon. Ideally, but it, it, I'm just gonna say that it's you know it's 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 foreplay or or storytelling. But um, as far as like selling my soul, I definitely have given a piece of my soul to to a lot. Yes, to, 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 